Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Debs Cooper, Global Stressologist, here to talk about tips to master stability amid life's chaos. Ugh, even just saying that. I think these titles are actually quite... For me, I just go, oh, imagine, oh, imagine. The weight is heavy, heavy, heavy. I can feel it. Uh, thank you for joining me. Now, I think I have mastered this if I can see you comment today. I think I've moved a few things around, so I would love to know if you're here live or if you're here on a replay. So just quickly scan and see. It looks like it's going to work. Fingers, legs, eyes, the whole lot crossed. Well, let's crack on because tips to master stability amid life's chaos can come at any time can come at any time and you think you're smoothing smoothing you're, you're rolling along and things are smooth and suddenly BAM some chaotic moments come in and it can knock you out and I'm not here to tell you about the pain I'm clearly not here to tell you about the pain behind the chaos because you know you know it can shut you down you know it can stop you from talking to people you know it can um, hide you away from things you know that you go into free zone like I'm not here to talk about the pain. I've clearly just talked about it. So I'd love you to grab a note-taking device and note-taking device and get some notes going for today because they're valid ones that I use with my clients and with myself every day, every day. So tip number one is you are the master of your life. You are the master of your life. You are the captain of your ship. You're in control of your actions and decisions. You are accountable to your world, not anyone else's. You're the one that gets up every day to do things. You're the one that lies down to not do things. You are the one that takes action on things. It's you, you, you. You are the master of your life. So if there's life's, life's chaos around you, it's actually you. Yes, people are going to give you things and, to, and they could tip you over, etc. But this is actually you. You are the master of your life right here, right now. So being aware of that, even being aware of that, you might go, oh, that's so easy for you, Deborah. That's so easy. I don't know. But you are. Trust me, you are. So the next tip, squeaky chair, the next tip I'm going to give you is brain dump. And brain dump is exactly that. Brain dump. Take everything out of that head of yours and get it down on paper. Now, I personally prefer to use um, pen and paper or pencil and paper for me. Um, I do a lot of notes on the computer. Or I do a lot of notes in all the all the apps we have. But my, my favorite when I'm brain dumping is literally pen and paper. There's just something about it. So you do what's best for you. So I want everything out of, the, out of your head. Write it all out. Then write some more. Because when you think you've got it, then write some more. Even if you've got, say, chaos around your home, go into each room and go, okay, kitchen, what's chaos? Wait, what's chaotic here? What needs doing? What doesn't need doing? What, do, what, 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 what? Write it all down. Then go into the living room and then go into the bathroom or, or whatever. Just go into each room if that helps. But if you actually go, I've got to take the kids here, I've got to do this, write it all out. Because the moment you write it out of your brain and you can see it on that in front of you, that, that paper or whatever in front of you, you're a different, your brain already has started to go, ah, oh, there's an ease in there. And it's definitely going to give you some more ease. Once you've brain dumped everything, once you've brain dumped everything, um, have a put a star beside all the things that you can control. A little star so I can control um, something. Yes, my brain dumping, I can control that. Uh, writing for my website. I can control that. Um, uh, maintaining the dog from stopping the courier. I can't control that. So you're not going to do that. So only put a star beside the ones that you can control. Because with, you'll see on that list, there's going to be a heck of a lot of things that you actually can't even control that are out of your control. And then you're going to go, well, no wonder I'm chaotic. No wonder this is driving me insane. Because I'm taking on other people's stuff that I can't even control. So the key is to get it out of here. I'm going to say it again, brain dump, because as soon as you take it out of here, you can see clearly what you're dealing with. You can see clearly what you're dealing with. 
The next tip I'm going to give you is called the four D's. And I've talked about this quite a lot. If you've been one of my um, clients who have been talking to me this week, you know I've been doing these four D's. And the four D's are do it, defer it, delete it, no, delegate it, whoops, delegate it, or dump it. Do, defer, delegate, or dump. Now, when I talk about do it, so there's a thing on your list to read a book. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm either going to read the book or not. Or I'm going to defer it, not do it right now. Or I'm going to delegate it, give it to somebody else to read and they can give me their points. Or I'm going to dump or I'm not going to read it. So that's it. It's very simple. And then go to the next one. And then go to the next one. And that's, of course, after you've done the brain dump. Because if you're not doing the brain dump, you won't even know what you're do 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 be realistic when you go do, defer, delegate, dump. Be realistic and also ensure when you're delegating, ensure that the person you're delegating it to actually loves the task. Because I'm not going to give, say, dog walking, I'm not going to give my dogs to somebody who doesn't like to dog walk. It's just ludicrous for my brain, for them and the dogs and anyone who encounters a dog. So I'm better to delegate it to somebody who loves to walk dogs Loves to walk. Two little dogs who are high in energy and all the other little things from it. So ensure that when you delegate that you're giving it to a person who loves the task. The next tip I'm going to give you is your attitude. Let me see. I've got no comments yet, but if you've said a comment, then I just I can't see it. So maybe it's not working. I don't know. Um, your attitude and even even I was giggling as I was reading these this morning and I was going okay I'm gonna put your attitude just know when you point a finger at others there's three fingers pointing back at you so whatever you put out you get back to you whatever you put out you get back to you so if you're putting out uh, 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 energy then you're gonna get uh, 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 energy if you're gonna give out inspiring energy you're going to receive inspiring energy. If you're going to give out grumpy, angry, frustrated energy, you're going to get grumpy, angry, frustrated energy back at you. Everybody is a mirror reflection of what's going on around you. So ensure that your attitude is the best possible attitude you can be having. And there's the four agreements and one is it, um, don't make assumptions. Always do your best. Always do your best. So your attitude, always do your best with what you have in front of you. It's a simple, it can be as simple as that. If these are overwhelming, please let me know. Please let me know. The other tip I'm going to give you is boundaries. And I don't even like that word boundaries. That word just challenges me at the best of times. Boundaries, saying no. So you can label it whatever you want. I just keep saying the word boundaries. But Again, you're accountable to your actions. You are accountable to your daily actions. Also know that you can say no. How ridiculous to even say no to somebody. Imagine that. Say no to my boss. No, it doesn't work for me right now. No, I can't do that now. When do you need it done by? No, is there anybody else who can do it? No, no, no. Also be aware when you're saying yes to something, is there somebody else who could be doing that task for them who's actually an even better role model? Somebody who actually really can do it better than you. So be open to those thoughts. Be open to that there's actually better people out there than you. I know when I'm hiring people, my thing is to get someone who's way better than stuff at me. I, like I'm, I'm good with it. I, I, I actually want you to excel. I want you to be way better than me because that's why I'm hiring you. That's why I'm hiring you. So be accountable to your actions and just ensure yourself that you've got the right boundaries for you that keeps you moving and not in chaotic moments. Because if you're not moving, that's where your chaos is going to hit. The other one is, um, I know I talked about pen and paper, but just take a little note. I want to know if there's a pattern going on. Because if you have this chaos going on around you all the time and it only happens when you're with your mum and dad, then there's something going on. There's definitely a pattern between you and mum and dad. If you've got this chaos going on with your intimate partner and it's always around money, um, then there's something going on. There's a pattern there around 
money with your intimate partner. If you've got some chaos going on at work um, because they're giving a, another job that you wanted to somebody else, then there's a pattern if this is happening to you all the time. So just ensure that you look at that pattern, just write it down and go, oh, this is constant. This is actually what's going on. I can see there's a pattern here. There's the mum and dad, there's the work, there's that same colleague at work, there's this, this and this. So just have a look at that, that pattern because that pattern will actually unlock a lot more for you. So make a note of that pattern. Because you know who I'm going to say to contact. That would be me, Debs Cooper, Global Stressologist. Once you've got that pattern or even you don't even know if you've got a pattern, reach out, reach out, reach out because I am here for you. Uh, the other tip I'm going to say is you're a survivor. And when I say you're a survivor, I'm letting you know that you've survived before. You have survived things before, and this one may feel heavy, but you've actually survived things before, and you got through it. You got through it, because you're here. So know that you're a survivor. So there is no problem without a solution. There is always a solution to every problem. There's always a flip side to everything. So if you can see a problem and you can't figure out the solution, just know you've been through it before. And again, guess who's here for you? Debs Cooper, Global Stressologist. You are a survivor. Whoo! How empowering does that feel? My next one was actually a question that came up this morning is how long do you wait till you fix it? And I was like, oh, that's a great one. So how long do you wait till you fix it? When, when you fix whatever's going on. The truth is now. The truth is if you feel the wobble, if you feel the wobble, deal with it. It's time to fix it. So if you're feeling the wobble of something, if there's chaos, if you've, if you've got no stability and you can't see that and there's the same pattern repeating over and over, excuse me, if you can't fix it now, if you can't fix it today, then diary it for tomorrow or diary it for the next day or diary it and then honour and respect yourself and go back and do the work on that. Because if you're honouring yourself to do the work on that, you're telling the universe or, or God or the higher powers or whoever you want to say or even the people around you, if you're telling, if you're telling yourself, I'm going to do this, you're also telling other people energetically you're going to do this. And again, if you feel the wobble and you're not dealing with it, guess who I'm going to suggest that you call? So if you're feeling it, the key is right now, right now, right now. Fix it right now because you don't have to be in this pain point with this. Uh, my next word is a great one that I came out of 2020 with me and it was called Starts With P. Can we guess what it is? pivot 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 and i think about the pivoting because don't let anything set in concrete nothing is set in concrete today this might work tomorrow you might have to change direction to this the day after you might have to change direction to that uh, two hours after changing direction to that you might have to change direction to that whatever it is so just know that nothing is set in concrete and you can pivot at any time anywhere so don't lock yourself in to what you think is the only way. Be flexible, be open, be transparent with yourself and give it a go. That comes with trust. You can do this. You can do this. And if it doesn't work, pivot back the other way. If it doesn't work, pivot back the other way. <clears throat> the next one I'm going to say is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, is, starts with G, my favorite. Now, it's not what you think it is. It's actually gratitude. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Be thankful for what you have and be thankful for what you don't have. Be thankful that this chaos is appearing to you in this form. Be thankful that those around you are challenging you. Be thankful that those around you are supporting you. Be thankful that the internet's working here today. Be thank I'm thankful that I can't see your comments because I'll probably be talking to you a lot more. Um, be thankful that you have what you have right here in front of you. Live in the present and be thankful for what you have. Now, chaos can be moved. I've given you these tips. Chaos can be moved. So be thankful that that chaos has been bundled in this particular way because there's other ways that it could have been bundled in. So whatever's going on, be thankful for your life, 
right here, right now with what's going on. And that appreciation can also just be hand on heart, reminding yourself that you live here. Oh, thanks for the day. Wow, what a journey that would have been. It can be as easy as that. Hand on heart's just a perfect way. My next G1, you know what I'm going to say, my next G1? My next G1 is Glitter Bomb. Woohoo! Now, set aside the time, because if you're not having any glitter throughout your day, you're going to get disgruntled, flattened, frustrated. So set aside the time for yourself to sprinkle some glitter on you. This is not sprinkle some glitter on anyone else. This is sprinkle glitter on you because you're the one that needs it. Now, what does glitter look like? Um, glitter, to me, looks like using my beautiful pen. Glitter, to me, is having a candle that I put that sits behind me and I just put it on my desk. Sometimes I light it, sometimes I don't. Glitter, to me, is... Ugh, I'm trying to find it. Oh, using my favourite lipstick. Not the one I've got on today. Glitter is that. Glitter is standing outside in the sun. Glitter is standing outside in the wind. Glitter is just taking a moment and drinking from my little glitter. My little glitter drink bottle. Whatever that is, it doesn't necessarily have to be glitter. Whatever that is, whatever that glitter is for you, glitter is something that lights you up. So ensure that you honour yourself and give that gift to yourself and action it, whatever that is. Glitter can take a minute. Glitter can take 30 seconds. Glitter can take five minutes. Glitter can take whatever it is. It's something that lights you up and fills your day. So look, ooh, glitter, glitter nails. Yeah, glitter, 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 glitter. And the last tip. Hmm, the last tip, which is just as powerful as everyone else. If you're having this trouble with mastering your stability I've given you some tips about this about this but if you're sitting in chaos or it's too hard or you don't even know or even you're going what pen do I use because sometimes even you go you say Deborah use a pen pen my accent a biro but I don't even have any where am I going to find it what this one's not working this frustration just adds and adds and adds and adds until it blows so there's somebody there for you who can help you through this, and that is clearly, guess I'm going to suggest, Debs Cooper, Global Stressologist, and that would be me. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. I can help you deal with whatever's going on. We can do it in a quick 15-minute call, and I can send you on your way. You don't have to be sitting in this wobbly, wobbly space right here, right now. You've got better things to be dealing with. You don't have to be sitting in this space. So that's me, Debs Cooper, Global Stressologist, here to talk about tips to master stability amid life's chaos. If you liked this, if you liked this today, thank you for joining me. The next step is please reach out and let me know what's going on in your world. Reach out and let me know what's going on. That's it. That's the next step. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. I'd love to know if you're here live or if you're here on a replay. Much appreciated. That's Debs Cooper, Global Stressologist, signing off on tips to master stability amid life's chaos. Thank you, people. Bye.